Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to hop in layout and see how to make a quick and easy template so we can automatically populate scenes directly from SketchUp. So this is a thing that's going to come in more useful if you create similar output over and over and over again. Uh, it's something that can be used on multiple pages. We're just going to do a single page just so you get the idea of how to do it. But the, the concept is very simple. It has to do with naming scenes and then linking modeling windows to those scenes. So super easy to do. Uh, and it's, like I said, especially useful if you create things again and again. Might not be the ideal thing for like architectural sets where every house is going to be a different size and shape and that kind of thing even though we're using an architectural building to, to demo this. But if you do any kind of fabrication images, something like that, especially, you'll get the most out of that. So uh, yeah, let's hop in and take a look. All right, so I got an empty page. Nothing special, nothing up my sleeve here. This is just a uh, letter page. I forget what the default is, 18 or six divisions per inch. I don't know, what, what a four inch, I don't know. It's It's one of the default templates. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start by going to file and I'm going to insert uh, a model. So I'm gonna start with this cabin file I have and I'm gonna say, open it. And it's gonna drop uh, the last scene I had on here, which is a scene called ISO. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by saying, all right, uh, show me the front side of this. That looks good. Uh, I wanna force this to a specific size. So I am gonna come in here and I'm gonna say like, Let's see how eighth inch equals a foot looks. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so it's it's locked to a scale now. I'm gonna bring, and again, this, I chose a look that was very, you know, I maintained my colored background uh, and all that stuff. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that. You could, you could actually, you know, have one that's all white to do this too. Uh, don't get hung up too much on the specifics of the styles I used or anything like that. But there we go. So the important part is this is now linked to this front, right? All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this. So I'm just gonna say, grab this and say, Command C, Command B, just copy and paste. And I'm gonna just pull that straight up to the top. And uh, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna make this uh, my right view. No, you know what, actually I'm gonna take I'm going to leave that as the front view. I'm going to take this bottom one and make this into a right view. I, I like the way that looks better. The front up top. All right, so I'm going to drop that down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to squish it in a little. And I'm going to slide it over this way. And then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to copy it again. I could also use this with a, the, uh, the modifier key to pull a copy so I could actually grab it and oops, I could grab it and hit the modifier key with move and then that would actually make a copy too same as I did before. All right and this one I'm going to say make put this ISO scene on here. All right so I'm going to take that I'm going to scoot this edge over there we go and then uh, I'm just going to double click on here and pan this so my ISO scenes here. Okay so it's something like that. So what I want to see is, you know, on my on this page, I want a front view, a side view, and I want my isometric over here. Additional things can be done here, right? So this I got jagged lines here. I want to take that and I want to I want to do a hybrid on that one. Um, but the rest of them, I'm okay with raster. If I want to drag on, uh, you know, some some uh, scene names here, I could do this too. I could just come across. Let's go. That one there. Drag that straight down here. I think I grabbed that. I did. Whoa, whoa, things are getting silly. I'm clicking on too much stuff. All right, let's try it again. Uh, just option copy that straight down. All right, so you do something like that. Um, I could spend time updating these, linking these off to images. I really just wanted to get some more stuff on here. So actually, you know, we'll come in here. I'm going to call this one, uh, you know, we'll go in order. So we'll call this B. Uh, and then I'll call this uh, front elevation. Prompt? Prompt? 
They can't, they haven't made a software yet that can stop me from misspelling things. I'm, I'm too good. All right, so this would be A, and this would be uh, isometric. Oh, don't need an enter there. And then uh, finally, just one last thing real quick here. C will be our... I don't know what direction it's facing, but I'll call it my east elevation. Nope, still no enter. All right, so there you go. So I get my page laid out. Again, whatever you want to do here, if there's text on here, if there's title block, whatever, add whatever that is in so my, my scene is all, all set. The important part is these scenes right here. The, the properties of the scenes are set up. So right here, this first one, I have this scene called ISO, all caps. Over here, front, all caps. This one here is right, all caps. That is what is saved into my model. So what I'm gonna do is save this as a template and I'm gonna call this my brand new template. Tem tem template. There we go. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna save in the default templates folder. That's fine, I'm gonna hit save. Now, what happens if I come into file and I hit new? I have the option, my, all my default templates, right? These are my paper templates. And then I have this tab here that says my template. If I come into my template, here's my brand new template. So I'm gonna click on it. All right, looks familiar, right? Because what I saved into my template was all of this information. So right now, all of these are still linked off to my cabin template, ISO, front, and right uh, scenes. So how do I use this to create something from a new model? All I have to do is come up here to File, Document Setup, and we go to my References, and see right here, I'm referencing Cabin Template. I can select that, I can say Relink, and relink it to this Franklin Template, which is a different building, and click Open. All right, look at look what happened automatically. Because Franklin Template, this file, has the same file or same scene names this one is iso this one is front this one is right it automatically populates with those scenes so obviously i i actually had a different model that fit perfectly in here but it didn't feel realistic and it felt like it felt like a learning opportunity to hop in here and say because different models are different shapes when you force them into a scaled drawing like this and drop them in here there's probably going to be more work to do, right? So I would want to drop this down to a smaller scale or maybe squeeze a little more space out of here to drag it to see the top of this. So, you know, my, let's, just, let's just do it. Go like drop that down and then maybe take this down here like that. Um, maybe we'll go up. All right, so how much higher do we got to go to get everything and take that up like that and bring it down? See if that was enough to... All right, so something like that I might have to do to get this in here. Um, that's realistic, but regardless, I already have all my sheets, all my pictures are populated. So fine tuning, go, go shift these images around because they, to make them fit a little better, not a big deal compared to creating this from scratch. This process could be done with a multi-page document too. So I might have 10 pages full of different images or sections or whatever I have. As long as I save my template with these names and then when I create my model, I use the same scene names, I can automatically update this template and have it pull those images in. So just to hop over here real quick, let's go, I'm gonna go open these files up in SketchUp and you can see here's my ISO, here's my front, here's my right. If I hop over to the Franklin, here's my ISO, here's my front, here's my right. So you can see these two scene names are exactly the same. And that is all that layout looks for is those scene names. So yeah, create a template, super quick, super easy, save it, repopulate it automatically, possibly some adjustment, but a huge time saver when it comes to creating that document. So I don't know what you use layout for. Uh, like I said, everybody uses it a little differently. 
Uh, if you're making something that's every house you do is super custom, uh, it might be harder to make this work, but you could populate some stuff automatically. Um, most people who are doing level of, some level of production or repeat design are using similar, if not the same names for the scenes already. So hooking up, and if you're not, let's back that up. If you're not, you should consider it because it does make your life a little easier to always have the same scene names. Plus, that means you can create a template back in SketchUp with those names in there automatically, which probably maybe maybe I'll make a prequel video to this video on those other things. And then in the future, you could watch a director box set, which will start with that one and then end with this one. But in this case, this one came first. It's really pretty simple to go in and create a template with scenes already populated. Uh, not a hard thing to do. And if you do that, then it can hook up directly. Just a quick way to do that. Save some time and layout and let you focus on things that really have to happen that are, are manual. They're the, the going in and the, what are the details you need to put on the dimensions, the text, that kind of stuff that are specific to that model. Let's you focus there. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. But most importantly, please leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. Do you do this already? Do you do something like this? Do you have a different way of doing this, creating your, your templates or your files? Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you have other ideas you think would make good videos. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.